everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. Um, today I want to share a design team project for Seneca Pond Crafts on Etsy. Um, Miss Eileen has sent me a Woodland Christmas uh, flipbook journal kit and I love it. This has got, it's a big kit, it's got 25 um, sheets. She's included um, instructions for assembling the book, so it is just an awesome, awesome little kit. Um, I love Eileen's things because she keeps in mind no matter where, what level you're at with, um, you know, journal making or, or flip books or, you know, it, it, you can either be advanced or a new beginner and I just love that because you don't, with her kits, you don't have to have a lot of other items. Scissors, glue, I mean, obviously if you've got you know, lots of embellishments and things, that's great, but you can do it without a lot of supplies, and I love that. So I just want to show you guys really quickly. Um, I turned this into kind of like a little morphed flipbook um, junk journal, because I added some pages, and I'll show you that. But I love um, the images on this are just beautiful. The colors are really, really nice, very uh, rustic woodland. And I love that. I absolutely love it. So what I did, I just uh, reinforced the spine with some um, extra scrap, you know, uh, paper that I printed out, and then I went back over it with some with some lace, and then did some stitching um, on the front. I just um, doubled it up to cut this out, and then run it through the machine so that it, it gives it a little more um, stability. So the front cover, you've got a really nice little pocket here. Isn't this beautiful? Um, and what I did here, I just put some extra papers in. So, see, you can, you've can you got all these background papers. Um, in fact, let me just point out that everything that, that you see in this journal is from the kit. So I've printed out the paper onto some, some tea dyed papers. And then I've added some little, you know, just plain ones as well. But this is all um, background papers from the kit, so it's just gorgeous. Um, and then this is part of the project itself, and I just altered it slightly um, and made a little booklet there. And that fits into the little pocket that she's designed on this, which is just fantastic. Um, did some extra stitching, like I said, to reinforce that spine, because I knew this was going to end up being quite a chunky with me adding the extra papers, so just uh, I love, 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 love. Look at that with the birds and the, um, the candy canes, and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous design. Um, here, uh, this is another one of the pages, and then she's included all of this for belly bands. You've got these little things. Now you can either. Um, stitch or glue this to make a little pocket. This particular one I left open because I thought it'd be nice for additional journal journaling space. But I will show you some of them later in there that I have glued down. Here I've just um, run this through the machine, put some extra buttons on there, and then this is one of the little pockets in the kit. Isn't it just beautiful? And then here I've made a little booklet out of these. You could cut these apart and make them into little journaling cards if you want. But I chose to make another little notebook um, with just some of the extra paper um, offcuts that I had. And I've tucked that in there. Isn't that beautiful? She, she does beautiful work with her designs. Always enjoy seeing... Um, you know what what project she's got in mind now here um, this is just uh, these are banners that were in the kit I just layered them up so that you could have three um, little separate tuck spots on there and then that's just been run through the machine and stitched she's included little tabs in the kit I mean it is just gorgeous and this would be a great kit to use with um, you know if you've got extra Christmas papers and this just coordinates so nicely with any journals, I think. Um, here's one of them. This I've glued down. Um, you could run it through the machine if you want. And then this is going to hold 
you know, a place where you can stick a few other little things, you know, that are happening at Christmas maybe that you want to save. Another one of the pockets that she's designed there. Love it. Aren't these? Look at those images. Just beautiful. This, um, she makes these little pockets, and then you have a little journaling card here, and you can use this in many, many different ways. I've seen Danny, who is um, another of the design team members, she uses these. Um, a lot of times she will connect them in her page and have it as a flip out, so there's a lot of uses for them. Um, I'm, I just kept it as um, as it was created and, and pinned it in here so you can do what you'd like with it. Love these images. I don't know if the woodland themes really um, what everybody's doing right now and this is just a, a really nice um, look at that with the squirrel. Isn't it just beautiful? She's included so many things in this. I mean, you've got loads of tags, lots of these little envelopes. Deck the halls. That's so pretty. So pretty. And this is just a double pocket on the center of the uh, signature. I should have said this is one signature, this little journal. Um, and like I said, if you didn't want to add the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you didn't want to add the little uh, pages to it, it is a gorgeous little flip book just done on its own. And it's a great, great idea for anybody um, looking for stocking stuffer ideas or if you've got any craft fair markets coming up, this would be, apps. I'm certain this would be a great seller. Um, and I definitely... I didn't have time this year to, to get prepared for one, but I am intending next year, and I will absolutely be including this in my market ideas. Um, this is another one. I went ahead and um, glued that down, so it's another little tuck spot. Beautiful. And I've just tucked that into that little pocket there. More of the uh, patterned paper that she includes. And I love the fact that she puts the little tabs because I, I, I don't have um, a tab punch. And this is another one of the little envelopes. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. And another thing I think this would be great for is with um, the children being off at the holidays and... Uh, you know, they get bored. This would be a great project, you know, for any, I, I don't know, I would say any of the children, maybe eight and above, could easily do this, um, you know, with the guidance. So here's um, some more journaling tags. Um, and then this is another of the little... Um, I just love these envelopes. And I was going to point out, I don't know if I passed it or not. Let me just flip back. This, I am going to be printing out several of these. This will be perfect for a um, gift card holder for Christmas. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to print out um, several of these and probably do some stitching on them. And then I think it would be nice just to have one of the little journal cards inside with the gift card on it. So that's another way you could use these, um, these kits. So keep that in mind with Christmas coming up. Um, and then this is another one of the little journaling tags that's tucked in here. I absolutely love that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I'll have to um, give some thought. I think this might, I can probably come up with another way to use that this year for Christmas. I'm going to have to think about that because that's beautiful. Um, here I've done another belly band. Um, this is more of the journaling. Look at that one. North Pole, isn't that sweet? And then the, another of these little um, pocket envelopes. It's got Merry Christmas on the back beautiful. 
Yeah, you, in fairness, you could turn that into a um, gift card holder as well, I think. But the colors in this, I really like the black with the reds and the greens. It's It makes it really pop. And here is another one of the, um, it's like a three tuck spot um, banner. Some more of that beautiful paper. And this is a beautiful sheet as well with the snowflakes. And then this is the back of the little journal. Now here, um, I've just cut these in half and made them into two journaling card tags that you that stick in but if you on the front one I left those and then just sewed in um, some pages to make a notebook so that's an option as well now I'll show you the back of that one beautiful thank you Eileen so much for letting me work with this kit I have loved it it's been such an, a nice uh, fun project um, stress-free project which I appreciate so much <laughs> I've really, really loved it, and like I said, that I can see a lot of uses um, with this kit for uh, creating some little gift card holders and so forth. But there you go. That's the little journal flip book. I love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to put um, Seneca Pond's link below to this kit. Check out her shop. She's got some beautiful things in there, and particularly... Um, Christmas tags and all sorts of stuff she's and she's always adding to it so you guys keep checking back for that thank you so much for stopping by today I hope everybody has a, a great weekend ahead and I'll see you guys soon bye